Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this week's vlog. Now, I know what you're thinking, Lucy, you're late again. And for that, I can only apologize. Obviously, I normally post on a Monday evening at 6 p.m. And it's, it's, sorry, like, I clicked, it's fine. It, and it's now, well, I'm filming this on Wednesday evening at, ow. Thanks, Laura. So yes, I'm late, but I've been a very busy girl indeed. And um, I was actually out today filming something for a thing called National Racehorse Week, which you will have to keep your eyes peeled in the next few weeks to find out what we we're up to. But it was a super exciting day and I met with my other vloggy friends, Meg, Emily and Tina, and we had the best day. Anyway, today is not about that because for those of you who tuned in last week to my last show jumping vlog which was titled I think I can't see a stride will know that I mentioned in the vlog that I was going to book a lesson with my trainer and my trainer was going to ride Lara for me now that did happen and um, I did film it which is great however because the session was so early in the morning I actually forgot my normal camera which I use so I've only got it on my phone quality so um, I apologize for the bit of the difference in the um, video quality as it were going back obviously recently I have been struggling with my show jumping uh, it's got literally nothing to do with Lara she's absolutely fine a um, bit porky actually there at the moment but <laughs> she's absolutely fine it was just basically me not trusting my own ability I will say that I have tried everything under the sun um, to improve my own eye and I know it's down to me and I know it's for me to improve but that is that is totally fine and you know as I say in every vlog at the moment every day is a school day so yeah and actually sometimes you just have to roll with the punches you know sometimes things don't always go to plan you can't always see a stride and it's just coping with that which now I believe I coped with. So for those of you who are new here and haven't seen my other lesson vlogs, I've had Justine as my trainer for like three years now. So she's helped me thick and thin. She knows my horse inside out as much as I do and she knows me and my riding ability. So there's no one I trust more to get on my horse than her. And uh, I mean, guys, she's been around Burley. She's come third at Burley and now she runs the Nar Valley Bloodhounds, which uh, if you also don't know what those are, I've actually got a playlist on my channel, so go and check those out. Anyway, so I'm gonna stop yabbling, yabbling on, and I'm going to take it back to last week, which is when I had my lesson, when we went to our local venue, Forest Edge, and Justine, my trainer, had a ride. And now we have Justine Ward riding Lara Lee. Ding ding. Thank you. 
That was lovely. Nice. to pink. Right. Because I felt like, like the number, the green and the yellow, she really picked up. Yeah. Um, I'm probably setting her up more than what I would normally, but I'm very conscious that I don't want her to chip that little one in. Yeah. Um, so I'm just making sure I am on the stride I want to be on, um, which is probably not that fair on her. Um, but she, you've just got to keep the head up and keep that leg on. And then what she does is, she leans quite a lot. Um, and it, you've just got to make sure, you just say, come on, give and take a bit, give and take a bit. Yeah. Uh, and then keep that leg on. And I mean, I'm, I'm not going any quicker than you would. No. I'm probably a bit more controlled. Yeah. But there's probably a little bit more energy. I don't know, you have to look back on the video. Um, but I think the main thing is really keep her head up and keep that leg on, the pressure on, because then she snaps up a bit more. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But I think we should get on. Pop round. Okay. Press, press. Good. Press, press. Lovely. Press, press, press. Good girl. Good girl. The pink one, think collected canter. Good. Good. Yeah? Don't release. Cut the corner a little bit, maybe. Yeah. That's it. So... Leg, leg, lovely. Sit up. Good, better. Good. Last week for the life of me, I could not do this related distance. However, look at this. I'm just so chuffed. That we managed to do it. I think I deserve yeah. a round of applause. Lovely. That 
that's better. There we have it guys, short and sweet, I am gonna say. I have to say, Justine, you might need to brush up on your filming. So as you can see, I learned a lot from that lesson and I'm just gonna quickly go through what I've taken away from this. So I can be very much with Lara lulled into a very false sense of I'm just going to be a passenger and not actually ride. So what I mean by that is when she's coming into a fence and she's running off with me essentially I don't really tell her no enough. I'm a bit too complacent as it were. I'm not saying you have to be rough but you just have to be clear in the aids and I guess I've just never really been clear enough and she's kind of thinking well you're kind of asking me to slow down but you're also not really so I would come to a fence let her rush get into the bottom of it and then we would just find ourselves into the sticky situation whereas say it's a related distance for example I'm going to get over the fence land sit up and go whoa and get her just back on her hocks a little bit more and then it's actually amazing like it's like the stride just appeared in front of me and I was like oh there it is and um yeah and it was maintaining the forward canter this is the thing everyone thinks she's going so fast Lucy like you're going way too fast at a fence but that everyone is how she approaches a fence she has a forward canter naturally and you have to keep it forward forward you have to keep it forward otherwise she hates interference as you know but I kind of I guess I had a bit of a blurred line between interference and actually clear aids so anyway moral of the story is I'm feeling way more confident and it takes just something like that someone else to get on so you can see actually how it's supposed to be done and how you use your aids effectively and I'm going to repeat this without being sh no roughness or whatever whatsoever. It was literally just, this is what I want you to do, Lara. And she was more than happy to do it. And actually, some of those fences at the end, it was like a metre, I think one of the uprights was like a metre five. So I'm relieved. I'm happy. I'm going to have another session with her this week. Hopefully, fingers crossed, maybe... If I remember, because she did say to me, Lucy, we're going to do this again. I'm going to ride her again and you can watch and learn again, basically, which I'm, as I said, I'm more than happy to do at this stage because I really do appreciate all the help I can get um, ahead of our next event. Anyway, I'm so sorry this is such a pulls together vlog. Um, currently literally my hair in a blimmin bird's nest talking to you in the field while I'm poo picking but I thought you were desperate to see how Justine got on and there we have it if you want to see more if you like to see someone else riding Lara a lot more effectively than me and me learning from that then make sure you subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video give it a like leave me a comment and come back next time because well guys I've got so much in store for you it's literally unbelievable anyway take care of yourselves happy weekday and see you soon see you on Monday see you on Monday because the vlog will be out on Monday bye